morning, Dutchie. How are you? Did you have a good, good breakfast? What about you, little pig pig? You doing okay? Gotta have our coffee. There she is. Good morning. Good morning, pig. You think they're still hungry, Mom? We didn't feed them enough. I did. We didn't feed you? Good morning, guys. So the dogs woke me up at like 6.45 this morning, which is too early for me because that's actually really 5.45 where I am. And um, it is November 22nd, Tuesday. And I'm going to try to fix the situation right here. And then um, we're going to get on with our day. So guys, I'm getting ready this morning and I just wanted to show you that Dutch has decided to just give up. Dutchie, you're done? You're done? You're out? Carol, is he okay? He's called it quits for the day and it's still the early afternoon. Here we go, puggies. Carl's ready. Look at her. Look at her go. Here she there goes. they go. It's actually nice and cool. It's not so cold today. It was really, really cold this morning when I came out. It was like high 40s, low 50s. Pearl. Pearl. Come here, boo boo. Let's go, Pearl. Come on. Yeah, that's a poop. He poops on the neighbor's yawn lawn. Well, good thing no one's living there. Are you right going to cross over there to get him? She Girl. wants to so bad. She wants to go over there and get him so bad. You can't cross the line. Man, you're fast. There she goes. You're fast. Come here, bro. Come here. Come here. Whee! Where'd your brother go? He's off over there. Go, girl. Go, go. Yeah, she wants to attack him once he crosses back over the ditch. Come here, Bean! You're so cute. You're so cute, Bean. Go get your brother. Go get him! She got distracted. <laughs> Come on! Come on, babe! Let's go! Come on, Pearl! Get him! Come on! Let's go! There they go. Woo! Okay, see, he wants to play. <laughs> Get, Get her. <laughs> Get him, Pearl. Get him. <laughs> Get him, Pearl. <laughs> he finally got into a playful mode. It takes him a minute. It takes him a minute. He's got a charge. There he goes. There you go, bud. <laughs> Woo! He really is fast when he wants to be. Yeah. Get her! Woo! Get him, Pearl. You guys are about pooped, right? They're getting close. Pugs don't got much. So we took the dogs out. We let them run a little bit. I think they're a little tired now. I'm ready to get some lunch, so we're gonna go find something to eat. All right, guys, so I um, am sitting down with my mom and we just kind of planned out the meal for Thanksgiving and I wanted to try a few different things. Um, I wanted to try uh, some different kinds of mashed potatoes because ours are always kind of bland, so I wanted to try a recipe from, I think it's either Martha Stewart, I think it's a Martha Stewart cream cheese Marsh, uh, mashed potato recipe and then we also looked through and tried to make sure we didn't run out of anything as you guys know if you watched last year we had the great sage crisis of December 2015 and we could not find any sage we actually had to find a friend who had sage but we're doing dressing and I'll show you guys just a second if I can turn this around okay so we're gonna do a green bean casserole and I actually have all of this stuff over here it just requires um, four cans of the French style green beans, 
two of the cream of mushroom, Mrs. Dash seasoning, and then these little Frenchy crispy onions. So it's a really easy dish to do, but it's really tasty. And then these uh, white bunny breads are going to be for the dressing. And the dressing has two cream of chickens, two cream of celeries, one cream of onion. And my mom got this really pretty um, centerpiece. Those are real flowers, I believe from Sam. So I thought that was really nice. I thought it was really nice for this room. The dogs think I'm eating, but I'm not. I'm just planning dinner. I mean, Thanksgiving stuff. So we've got dressing, we've got all that. We've got our green beans. Um, for the mashed potatoes, we needed, we ended up doing cream cheese. Um, I needed to get heavy cream and whole milk, so we got that. We're gonna do a pecan pie, a derby pie, and a rum cake. So we have a lot to make. And so we went to Target to get all this stuff. So we're gonna brine the turkey. And we've never done it before, so we looked up a recipe on um, Pioneer Woman, uh, her site, which is Reed Drumland. I know a lot of people have heard of her. I really like her. So we got oven bags, which I don't know if these are the same thing as brine bags, but, you know, we're going to see if it works. We're going to try. And when I was also at Target, I picked up this really cute little hat for Pearl because she wears clothes or will be more tolerant of clothes than Dutch so I just picked up one and I will try that on them so we can see what it looks like but it's so cute and so soft it's this nice soft fleece it's just a little velcro it's from the company um Boots and Barkley at Target and I really like their stuff I think they have really cute things for animals so that's where we are we're just getting prepared and we've got to do some of this stuff starting tomorrow which is going to be Wednesday to prep so the brine and stuff we'll, we'll do. Hopefully I'll show you guys that and we'll we'll see how it turns out. I hope it turns out well. Pearl, Pearl sit, sit down. Look, look at sit. me. Sit, Pearl. You got your little hat on, your little tasseled hat. Your ears hang out. They do. <laughs> <laughs> we got Hold this on, at Pearl. Target for Pearl. So now she has her little hat with her tassels. There we go. Look here. Pearl, do you like your little hat? Oh my gosh. Alright guys, so Dutch was getting a little jealous and normally he won't wear any clothes or anything so that's why I don't buy him stuff but Pearl sometimes will tolerate it but I was playing with the hat and he wanted to put it on too. So here's his little hat but he won't move. When you put it on him he will not move. So I don't think he likes it very much. Do you Dutch? Pearl's gonna eat your tassel. <laughs> Pearl, do you, you don't like the tassel? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I think I think he's had enough of it. See? Don't get jelly. Don't get jelly and I won't put it on you. Pearl, you liked it though. You were okay with it. You was gonna rock it. Alright, Dutch, torture over. So we're gonna make some guacamole. So do you guys make this a lot? Well we have when Pam Pam did it and then Dan and I just did it last week again because we I always buy avocados and we had tomatoes and we thought we better use the tomatoes up because we're not using them. That's true. We never, I feel like, use half of our tomatoes when we do like tacos and stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to do some, cutting up some avocados first and then I pulled a recipe so let me see what else we need. What other Alright, so mom, you're putting in the tomatoes. I'm going to squeeze half of this lime all over them so that it doesn't uh, I think this keeps it from browning mm. oh I just squirted myself <laughs> oh, this is tough this is hard work I'm excited I haven't made fresh avocado or guacamole in a long time all right so then we're supposed to put in a half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and half a teaspoon of cumin. And you're actually supposed to mash that up before you put the tomatoes in, so we need a little mistake, but that's okay. We'll reserve the rest of the tomatoes to add it in. All right, so we got our tomatoes, and then I'll just go ahead and take this. Mm -hmm. This is a tablespoon, so mm -hmm. we got a hefty amount here. That's right, we like cilantro. Yeah. Now we've got our red onion. This looks so pretty. And then the last bit is a little bit of garlic chopped. So put as much of that in as we can. And then we're just gonna fold this in and then I think we'll be done. We may need to put some more lime juice on, but it looks pretty tasty. It smells really good. 
We're going to squeeze a little bit more of this lime. We may not need the whole thing, but we'll see. Squeeze a little bit in. Okay. We'll do a taste test. All right, taste test time. Let's see. Let's get a good amount on this little chip. This looks good. All right, here we go. Really good. Really good. I like the spices. It is good. I'll let Dad try it. You think it's good? Yeah. You think it needs any more? Mm -mm. Okay, let's let Dad what, try. Uh, here, take some. Uh, take he came up to me after that. Time. It's bath time for the dogs. No, he does not want to go. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Okay. There Sit, we go. Sit fresh. Feels good. Oh, Check out the room. What do you got, friend? Ooh, this is nice. Sweet honey oatmeal. This smells pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. Very good. Sit, Dutch. Can you sit? Nice and clean. Can you sit? <laughs> He's jumped out on me before, so I was up to watch him. This one jumped out at the end. Oh, Pearl, did you escape? Yeah, you're naughty, I know. Oh, oh yeah. Nice and warm. warm. He, he likes it. He pretends that he doesn't enjoy this, but he really does like it. Yeah. You're going to feel so good, Boo Boo. Ooh, get squirted. <laughs> yeah, lean it into you. <laughs> all right, guys, we've got the pugs all snug in a rug. I think we're going to call it a night. They are enjoying their little snuggle session after their bath. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.